Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm sitting out in the garage uh, about to work on my center caps and my Type R rims. When I had the rims re-powder coated, center caps are plastic so you can't have them powder coated. I never got them professionally painted and you know etched with the Honda logo back on them. I had an idea of how I was going to do that so let me show you how I'm going to do that right now. This is the way the center caps came basically to me when I bought the rims used. They were extremely faded. The logos are pretty much gone. I'm going to sand these down lightly just with some probably uh, 320 grit sandpaper just to rough them up and smooth them out a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and clean them off nice and good with some rubbing alcohol. And then I actually bought these online. They are logos and I guess you could just use the logo but what I'm going to do so this doesn't peel off or come off is I'm actually going to use this as a template to paint the logos on. So first let's get these cleaned up and uh, uh, got some Rust-Oleum paint here that I'm going to be using. The red's a pretty close match to their Honda red, so. All right, so I just finished sanding them all down and wiping them off with the alcohol and a rag just to get all the dust and any fingerprints that I had on them. Yeah, they're very smooth right now, and you don't want to touch them anymore at this point before painting. So the first step is to do it stenciled like this is we're going to paint the the H color. So I'm going to do the red first all over the entire center cap. Alright guys, so it's actually the next day now. Uh, last night right when I went to go start to paint, it started to rain. But I'm going to uh, put about two more coats on this red right here and then I'm actually going to let it fully cure for uh, a couple hours before I proceed to the next step. Alright, so now that the red is dry, I'm going to take these logos and I'm going to put it on to the center of the center cap. And then after I put that on, I'm going to spray it in white. Here's one with it on, and then I'm going to spray paint it white, the whole center cap, and peel the sticker off afterwards. So I sprayed them white now, I'm going to put about two more coats on there, and then let that dry a little bit before peeling off the stickers. So now that the white paint has dried a bit, I'm going to peel off the stickers that you put on and you'll have the red underlay underneath of it. So here's the ones that I haven't done yet and afterward and then I'm just going to clear coat them after this. Alright guys, so here's the finished product. I let them sit overnight and they look pretty good. Alright guys, so that was a pretty easy DIY. If you have any questions about it, just let me know in the comments below. I figured it might help anybody trying to do stencils on any type of car part or anything you have around your house, really. And I guess I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one.